Hi everyone, I'm Laura and this is another edition of The Laura Report. Beverage centers and wine units have become some of the most popular refrigerators on the market, but can be difficult products when it comes to deciding which to purchase. Today, we're going to review the differences between beverage centers, wine units, and the importance between the two of them. Freestanding refrigerators have finished panels on the side and a condenser that is located in the back. Now, because of where the condenser is located, you're not able to store these refrigerators in under countertops or between cabinets. They also tend to be made of plastic on the inside and can create more noise. Built-in refrigerators can be replaced between cabinets and under countertops because they have a condenser that is located under the front toe kick of the refrigerator. These tend to come with steel insides and also have nicer racks and shelving than a freestanding refrigerator. Now beverage centers are under counter refrigerators that have the ability to store wine, soda, water, beer, or even food. Their internal temperatures can range from 35 to 65 degrees and they can come in a freestanding or built-in style. Their sizes are pretty standard coming in height of about 24 to 35 inches and a width about 15 to 24 inches. Now, if you're looking for an entry-level beverage center, maybe you should look at KitchenAid. Their unit has two temperature control zones, touch controls, and glass shelves, and a UV protective thermal glass door. Now, if you want to see a step up from KitchenAid, you should consider the Gen Air Beverage Center. Now, depending on which model you're looking at, these beverage centers offer two separate temperature control zones that range from about 32 degrees to 54 degrees. They can also hold 14 to 22 bottles of wine and have a door designed with a alarm if it's left open for too long. Now, a more advanced unit would be the Uline Beverage Center. These can maintain a temperature within one degree of its set point with a range from 34 to 70 degrees. This center comes with a few luxury features you wouldn't find in a basic model, such as ramp up lighting that slowly turns on when you open a door. It also has glass shelving that can be adjusted to any height so you can accommodate any size beverage. They also have storage bin or wine rack options for the bottom of the refrigerator. Okay, so now let's talk wine storage. So these can hold many different names, wine captains, wine coolers, wine refrigerators, wine cellars, wine centers, and even wine buddies. Okay, maybe not that last one, but the point is these are simply fancy adjectives made by manufacturers to explain a wine refrigerator. When it comes to looking for wine storage refrigerators for your home, you have to ask yourself one very important question. Do you store wine for extended amounts of time or do you drink it faster and you can put them in the refrigerator? If you're looking to store your wine, you will also have to consider if you're gonna be storing red and whites in the same fridge. Wine refrigerators are different than beverage centers or your regular refrigerator because they provide temperature controlled environments for your wine and have special vibration absorption systems that reduce the impact of tremors or noise. Now you can find single or dual zone wine refrigerators. Single zones only have one cooling temperature zone. These refrigerators are perfect for people who are starting their collections or only drink red or white wine. Dual zone refrigerators have two temperature cooling zones and are perfect for people who are growing their collections or if they plan to keep red and white wine in one refrigerator. If you're about to purchase your first wine refrigerator, we would suggest that you go with the single zone refrigerator and the Uline Wine Captain is a great place to start. Uline has a wide selection of models and prices that you can choose from. Their glass doors have a tinted design that helps protect wine from UV lighting. When you open the doors, the lights on the inside ramp up and they also ramp down when you close them. And they have sliding racks that can easily access your wine. If you want to step up from Uline, you should look at the Marvell wine cellars. Marvell is known for their powerful compressors that provide accurate and consistent temperatures within their units. Some of their top features include roller glide shelves, vibration neutralization system, and an alarm that notifies you when your door has been left open. Now those were the smaller, more beginner wine units. If you are a serious wine connoisseur and collect your wine, we would recommend that you get a dual zone wine refrigerator or a column wine refrigerator. The Thermidor wine column refrigerator can come in two different sizes, 18 inch wide and 24 inch wide. Now, as you can see here, they can be seamlessly integrated into any design in your kitchen and can be installed flush with your cabinets. Some of its top features are its full extension racks made of exotic wood, as you can see here, and it is a dual temperature and humidity control unit. It also comes with a carbon air filter that keeps your air clean within the unit. 
and has a protective glass door so UV rays can't access your wine from the outside. The top of the line sommelier must have is the Sub-Zero wine column. Now these come in 18, 24, and 30 inch wide units. As you can see here, this is a 30. Some of their top professional features include sturdy, rust-proof wire racks with a cherry wood front. They are also on a roller glide system that provides a smooth flow for your wine as you pull the racks in and out. They have soft, low voltage lighting to help protect your wine. And it is a dual temperature and humidity controlled unit. When it comes to figuring out what refrigerator size you may need, a good rule of thumb is to look for a unit that has 25% more space than the amount of bottles that you currently have. This will allow for you to grow your collection or have extra storage space for those parties. Well, that does it for this edition of the Lore Report. I hope we were able to help you in your undercounter refrigerator shopping. If you have any questions or would like to make a request for the next Lore Report, visit us at factorybuilderstores.com slash the Lore Report. You can also see past reports on our YouTube channel.